Hello, this is Charles from C. Delano Photography, and for all you that have been using Windows Movie Maker all these years, did you know there was a built-in video editor in Windows 10? Let's go ahead and take a look. First, go to the search box, type in video editor, open the video editor. If the video editor doesn't come up when you type in video editor, then try the photo editor by typing in photo. It will open the photos app, check to see if you have the video editor button on the top of your app. If not, you need to go to the Microsoft Store by clicking the start button and then typing in Microsoft Store. Go to the Microsoft Store. At the top, do a search for photos then select Microsoft Photos. Mine is already installed on my device. Yours will say Install. At the bottom here you may have an advanced option. Under the advanced option there will be an option to repair photos or reinstall photos. This should fix any of the problems that you have. Now from my experience it's better to import your images that you're going to use in your video as well as your video clips using the import button up here on the right hand side. So click the import from a folder and then select one of your folders. Once it's finished, you'll get a notification that all of your photos and videos have been uploaded. Once that's done, you can create a new project video. Give it a new name, click OK. From there, you can add videos into your project. Select From My Collection, and you will see the ones that you uploaded using the import. So I'm going to select some sample video, and then a few stills, and a couple videos. When I'm done, I'm going to click Add. Now I can add any of these videos or stills to my storyboard. Storyboard is where everything is going to happen. Now the first thing you want to do with the storyboard is you want to add a title card. That's your title at the beginning of your video. If you want to change the color to your intro, just right click on the blue area and go to Edit, Background. You can select a different color and you can also add some text at the top using the text button. Inside where it says Title, add some text. When you're happy, Select the layout where you want it to go, whether you want it in the middle. Here are some lower thirds, or if you have a two-line title, you can go in the middle right here and then select Done. Now we want to add our first clip. If you select one of your video clips from your project library, click and drag it down to the storyboard. Once it's in the storyboard, you'll get more options in between the vertical lines. If you want to trim your video, you can click on the Trim button and then slide the sliders left and right to where you want your video trimmed. You can select the play button to see your video move. When you're happy, select the done. If you want to split your video, you have that option as well. Then on the text, if you want to add some lower thirds to this, as I mentioned before, you can click text, select one of the different font options, and then at the bottom, select the lower third and then type some text. In this area right here, you will see where the lower third will appear. So if you don't want the lower third to appear until further on in the video, you'll move the left slider to the left, and then depending upon how long you want it to stay in your video, you will move the right slider to the right. When you're done, select Done. I'm going to cover motion a little bit later, but what I want to do right now is give it some 3D effects. So I'm going to grab another video clip and drag it down to the storyboard. I want to add a 3D effect, so I'm going to click the 3D effect button. And then I'm going to use one of these flame effects. So I'm going to click on the flame effect, and then it's going to add it to my video. Then I need to figure out where that flame is going to appear. I'm going to select how long that flame is going to appear by moving the right slider to the right. And then I just want it to pop up, so I'm going to move the left one a little bit. And to see where I'm at, I'm going to move this play button somewhere in the middle. I want to attach this to a point, so I'm going to select OK. 
and then it's going to attach it to the video. Now that it's attached to my video, I can use these icons right here to rotate it around a vertical or horizontal axis or spin it around. But for right now, I'm just going to change the size by using the handle. Once I'm finished getting the right size, I'm going to put it over on my shoulder. And then if I want to take a look at what it looks like, I can move the playhead and then I can hit the play button. When I'm happy with my flame, I'll select done. Now if I want to change the look of my actual videos, I'll click on the video clip and then select filter. I think I want to give this a brassy look because I think it's a little bit too saturated. When I'm happy with that, I'm going to select done. Now to get some consistency between these two videos, I'm going to select on this video clip as well, go to filters, and then select brassy again. When I'm happy, I'll select done. If I wanted to change the speed, I could click speed, and then I could do a slow motion effect on this clip. Last but not least, if I'm going to add a still image to my video, I can add it to the timeline and then go to motion. And then I can select a different kind of motion effect, much like the Ken Burns effect. When I'm happy, I'll select done once again. There's a couple other things I want to cover. At the top, we have the ability to add background music. There are some built-in music pieces that we can use. So if I want to use the Clown Parade, I can select it and see what it sounds like. Or I could go to Distant Ocean because that's what the first clip looks like. And then I can select the volume of the background music. When I'm happy, I'll select Done. It'll put the background music from the title card all the way to my end clip. To add custom audio, it's not quite as easy because when we click the custom audio button, it takes us to an add audio file. You have to have your narration finished before your video is done. So what I recommend that you do is export your video by clicking finish video, selecting the video quality that you want, Go to more options, whether you want to use hardware accelerated encoding to make this a little bit of a faster export, and then click export. I'm going to add mine to my desktop, and then select export. Once your video is finished exporting, it will open up in the default player. You can select the play button to see what your video looks like. Now this is where if you want to add some custom audio, you can use the voice recorder. From your search bar, type in voice recorder. Then you're going to have to juggle a few things by clicking on the play button and then going to your voice recorder and selecting record. Then you can do a voiceover of whatever you want on your video. Hopefully you put some sort of a title card at the very beginning so that you have a little bit of time to turn on your voice recording button. When you're happy, select stop. Once you're finished with your recording, go to the three dots at the very bottom and then select open file location. That way you know where your recording is. Mine is under my network folder. I can grab this and drag this to my desktop. As you can see the recording showed up on my desktop. Now if I want to add that custom narration to my video, I can close the voice recorder now I need to go back to the original video editor, which is this window right here. So I'll click on this window, which will take me to my original project. Now that we've created our voiceover or our narration file, we would go to custom audio and then select the add audio file. And once we've selected it, select done, and it will add the voiceover or voice narration to our video. Then we need to go to finish video a second time and then go to export giving the options. So that's why voiceover or narration in this version of the video editor in Windows 10 isn't that easy to use. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up and the bell button to be notified when I release a new video. Thanks and cheers.